Amen. Well, it is awesome to see a dozen people baptized into Christ. But now it is exciting to see a new city being planted with the Naga ICC planting. What an amazing honor to see God working. And uh, of course, so significant. Last year, we were able to bat plant the Bagyao ICC, really signifying getting God's presence into the northern Luzon area. And now with Naga going out, bringing the kingdom and the presence of God into the southern Luzon area. God willing, next summer, we'll see the planting of Cagayan de Oro, signifying that we will have every key geographic area of the Philippines with a church of sold-out disciples in it. Amen? Uh, I just want to reiterate how proud I am of JC and Ina. Uh, I've told JC I have no doubt and fully expect them to quadruple just like the bag ale planting did. And uh, yet the team that they have is absolutely all world. <clears throat> Don't be shy. Give it up for your Naga Mission team. <clears throat> and is our as is our custom in the ICC, before each planting is sent out, in alignment with Acts chapter 13, before they sent the group to Antioch, the shepherds laid their hands on them and prayed for them. At this time, I'd like to ask Tony to pray for the mission team. Let's all get down on our knees for those that are able. Let us pray. Father in heaven, as we've witnessed many baptisms today, we know that every baptism is a miracle. Father, we also know that there are two things needed for every planting. Father, you provided us with the money, and you also provided us with the people. Father, we know that uh, whenever our mission team planting goes out, we send disciples, Father, whom we love, who we spent a lot of time with, who we worked with. And Father, we know that there's a tearing when a mission team goes out. But we also know, God, that we rejoice because another city is planted. Father, we know Naga has a, a population of over 200,000 people, God. We also know that there are many universities within the Naga area. And Father, we know that uh, it really takes a heart to give up everything, to give up comfort, a way of life, uh, even livelihood, Father, to be able to go to such a place. Father, thank you so much for JC and Ina and the 10 that would follow them to plant this city. And God, we cannot forget that miracle is also going with them. And uh, we know she's going to have to make new friends. And Father, we know that everything that we do not only comes from you, but we do for you. Father, I pray that you uh, give them the land that, you, that they plant their feet on. Help them to save many souls, Father, that they would be able to usher into your very presence. But Father, I know that uh, whenever we do incredible things like this, that Satan is unhappy. And I pray that you put a hedge around each and every one of them. Father, I pray that they stay rooted into your word and that they would support one another. Father, thank you again for just opening up our eyes and allowing us to see what the prophets and kings long to see. Father, we're unworthy, unworthy to be able to serve in this way, but we know, God, that uh, 
It's for the very reason that you ushered us into your very presence that we do likewise the same for, for many more. Father, we love you more than life, and we dedicate this team to you. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, this is the part that we've all been not wanting. It's the end of the conference. Let's do it again. Uh, one more time. Uh, one more time. Uh, you know, uh, this has been an amazing conference. We've seen an incredible mission team go out. We have seen incredible baptisms. We've heard incredible sermons. We saw a graduation. We had men's sessions, women's sessions, campus sessions, married, singles, teens, 12, 70. I mean, we've cut and diced this thing every which way we know how. And, and God has really changed each and every one of us in an amazing, amazing way. You know, uh, to close out the conference, I've chosen to read uh, the last words of the Bible by Jesus. This is how he closed out his conference. Look, I am coming soon. Jesus can come back in the next 10 minutes. How's he going to find us? My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs, those who pra practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, murderers, idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony to the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come. And let the one who wishes to take the free gift of the water of life. I warn everyone who hears the words of this prophecy in this scroll, if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in the scroll. And if anyone takes words away from the scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in the soul. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. And the church said, Amen. Amen. I know Leanne wants to say a few parting words to the incredible sisters here. Well, amen, sisters. Happy Sunday. You know, I love Luke 24, 32. It says, they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us? While well, he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us. My sisters, I pray your hearts are burning after an incredible conference called Follow the Fire. Make decisions. That's what I want to humbly call you to do, my sisters. And those of you who are visiting, make decisions. We talked about it. Old you, old results. New you, new results. And God wants to do incredible things with you. You know, there's a song I want to share with you and if you've been impacted by this weekend my sisters then this is your song if you know it you can join in it says she's just a girl and she's on fire she's living in a world and it's on fire she's got both feet on the ground and she's burning it down she's got her head in the clouds and she is not backing down. This girl is on fire! And sisters, I pray that you are on fire after the 
this incredible conference. I know my heart is burning and it's on fire with the Holy Spirit. Let's take it into the world and change women's lives. I love you so much. Amen. Okay, let's stand now, bridge the aisles, and we're going to close out this incredible conference with one last song. Let's let the whole city hear the zeal that we have. Love you guys so much. We officially conclude the Pack Rim 2022.